Okay. Okay, so this is the um, continuation and um, just a by way of introduction um, to the camera techniques we've used. This is the camera, the Brica digital camera using the um, video function. Uh, that's why it's not uh, the sound quality is not that hot, so uh, hopefully I'm speaking loud enough to uh, for you to be able to hear me over the buzzing sound that's going on. Anyway, um, we don't want to uh, uh, buy a digital camcorder, so uh, that's the end of it. I've got an itch in my um, chest, that's why I'm scratching. Um, Okay, let's get on with it. Um, so I'm here in Leominster, Leominster in Herefordshire, and um, it's about 1980, 81. Yes, Buddhism, Gestalt. Um, I learned to cook because I had my own flat. It was a, a three-room flat in a big house, plenty of room for parking, nice position with a big tree in the garden and. Uh, I was able to grow carrots in the garden and um, I learned to cook uh, my evening meal. Um, I also uh, baked cake sometimes in the evening and um, I made my lunch, a packed lunch to take to work the next day. And um, things were going well. I was also drinking my homemade wine which I'd been making for about five years uh, by now uh, using uh, vegetables or things like fruits and um, things from the hedgerow such as um, elderflower, elderberry, hawthorn. Uh, they all make good wine and um, I would uh, keep it upstairs in my mum's uh, attic at Bungalow. Uh, while it fermented for six months or so and then um, bottle it and um, share it with friends or I would drink it on my own. Um, I uh, also uh, had uh, a good time at work. I was progressing quite well and um, the only thing was that uh, I was working quarter to nine to a quarter to five, that's just a normal office day in England uh, with 45 minutes for lunch. And I would need to lie down um, at lunchtime because despite having this special thing to uh, raise the uh, papers off my desk, I would still get continuous headaches throughout the day. And um, I needed to rest my back and head and neck uh, during the lunchtime, fortunately, um, it was quiet office. People would go out and have lunch in the canteen, and I would lie on the floor. And um, the, uh, you know, if somebody came in, they would be quite surprised to find me lying uh, at the feet of my desk. Um, but it, it helped uh, me to get through the afternoon. Um, and of course, I would take these paracol or. Um, Paracetamol and choline tablets at lunchtime to help. Um, had a nice flat, um, but uh, end of 1981, uh, I was made redundant from this job. Um, it didn't bother me. I uh, saw it as an opportunity to uh, move to London. So uh, they asked me if I wanted to. Uh, keep my pension, uh, the, uh, I'll be making pension contributions for my wages, and uh, I decided to, to cash in the pension and uh, keep the money in the bank for a while. Um, my brother helped me move up to uh, London with uh, uh, no job to go to but a bit of cash in the bank, so uh, we uh, rented a flat in Pimlico. Uh, on the fourth floor, that would be called the fifth floor in um, the Philippines, um, quite high up. So there was a lot of uh, walking upstairs to uh, take all the stuff out of the van. Um, 
and um, I settled there for a few months and found a job more or less straight away uh, through an agency. I found a job as a buyer and stock controller for a firm called APT Controls and they manufactured uh, parking controls, uh, parking barriers where you um, go up to a barrier and uh, there's an electronic uh, device opening it. And, um, well, uh, it was quite difficult because I had a lot of responsibility. The routine parts of the clerical work I could manage okay, but there was a lot of uh, electrical items which were in the stores uh, which I had no clue about at all. And the, the stock control system was in a mess, the two storekeepers um, didn't seem to know what to do to sort it out. Um, I just uh, carried on doing my job and um, then I discovered the Alexander Technique. Um, uh, this is a method of uh, helping your back and uh, moving correctly, etc, uh, etc. Et and I went on a um, residential course in the Lake District in um, August of 1982. This would be when I was 31 years old. I went up there on my motorbike, um, carrying all my stuff in a rucksack on my back. So I had to make several stops on the way because my back would ache so much. Um, anyway, it was a very enjoyable course uh, in a lovely old priory. And um, when I got back, went to work, um, and I was uh, fired, instantly fired. Um, I've been having problems with noise a, a, a lot affecting my concentration because um, I uh, lived in a, a flat where um, there was a lot of traffic going by and um, inside the factory there was uh, traffic going by all the time and inside the house, uh, inside the factory uh, there was a noise of manufacturing going on uh, and I was very sensitive to noise. I used to wear these uh, uh, ear protectors um, but it didn't help much so uh, I wasn't surprised uh, I wasn't that bothered when I was fired from the job. Um, the good thing about it was at this place I bought my first colour TV at a discount and um, walked all the way up from the ground floor up to the fourth floor <laughs> carrying this heavy television set but it was marvellous to have my own uh, colour TV for the first time. Um, I also moved to a new bedsit in a very nice district called Swiss Cottage. I was at the back of the house so it was quiet. I was looking out on our garden and other people's gardens from the uh, first floor we would call it, the second floor we call it in the Philippines and um, enjoyed that a lot. Um, I uh, also ha had further uh, lessons with the Alexander Technique because somebody was advertising that they would uh, swap me doing cleaning at their house for them giving me a lesson in the Alexander Technique. So I continued to have regular uh, lessons which uh, was great. Uh, for my back and uh, it took me out of the house. Um, I also developed a cleaning business um, whereby uh, there were plenty of people always advertising uh, in the papers or in shop windows for domestic cleaners. That means I would go to their house and uh, spend two or three hours and get paid in cash and um, I was independent, I worked on my own uh, so that was a fresh development which I would never have uh, imagined uh, happening and, and that was also very good for me. So, um, we'll go on to the next stage.